Today we are at Glenn Hall's Repair in St. Cloud, Florida. We are working on a 2004 F-250 Super Duty with a 6 liter. The customer complaint is extended cranking time and a lack of power. I am working with technician Lewis Richos. After Lewis identifies the vehicle, selects engine, and then we're going to look at DTCs. You can see that there are multiple DTCs, but what we notice right off is there are multiple injector circuit low cylinders 1 through 8. By touching on any of the codes, Lewis finds that there is embedded information in the Encore to help him diagnose this farther, such as code assist. Code Assist states the most common repair is a replacement of the FICM, Fuel Injector Control Module. Lewis decided he wants a little bit more information to diagnose this before ordering any parts. So he slides the tab to the right open and he has a choice of Identifix or Google. He decides to go to Identifix. And the tool brings over the year, the make, the model, and the code directly into Identifix. So he had to type in nothing. After a little bit of reading on Identifix, we found an exact description of our customer complaint that explains to check the alternator output for low voltage causing the problem. We then use the OTC 3200 battery tester and complete a comprehensive battery and charging test. We use the 3200 app on our iPhone and scan the barcode on the battery to ID it. Then after we connect the 3200 to the battery and scan the QR code, both engine off and running with our iPhone, we can clearly see the battery tested low state of charge and that it only had 12 volts while running. Lewis then checks the wiring on the back of the alternator and confirms that it is a bad alternator, so Lewis replaces it. After the alternator replacement, we retest the battery and alternator output using the 3200 battery tester. As you can see, the battery now is at 14.43 volts, which would be normal running for this vehicle. We now go back to the Encore scan tool and Lewis checks battery voltage at the FICM module. Key on engine off at 12 volts. Lewis is selecting the PIDs to give him exactly what he wants to look at rather than scrolling through multiple pits.
as he starts the engine and zooms in, we are now looking for output of the alternator feeding the FICOM module. And as you can see, we can now see the foliage come up and verify we do have a good alternator output being fed to the FICOM module. Lewis then wants to check one more item that he said is known to cause intermittent low power, a loss of connection at the inertia switch while monitoring the fuel pump pids So Lewis selects the PIDs for the fuel pump. And wiggles the wiring at the inertia switch. Checking both wiring and connector and Next, he wanted to verify the wiring and the connector at the frame-mounted fuel pump while wiggling the wires and monitoring the pits. Again, to check the wiring and the connectors to make sure that they do not have any issues. With no other problems found, he then is going to clear the codes Lewis then took the vehicle for a 10-mile test drive, number one, to warm it up fully, number two, charge the batteries, and verify the customer's complaint was taken care of and the vehicle was fixed 100%.